Just beat the game. Okay, yeah. So we are going. Castlevania 4. Why is it called Super Castlevania 4? Because as far as I can tell, the other ones are just Castlevania. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Castlevania 3. Did Castlevania 3 have a subheader? Or was it just Castlevania 3? And then there's Super Castlevania 4. It's like, was there an original one they weren't proud of? Because Super Nintendo. But Dracula X was on Super Nintendo. That's not called Super Dracula X. I don't know. Pretend you didn't see that, alright? But it got the X. Yeah, as in, don't play this. <laughs> Mm, Dracula's Curse was Castlevania 3 subtitle. Okay. Yeah, I really don't know much about this game, but as I said, I have a, I have a bit of a craving to play a Castlevania game. For sure. And why not play a really good one? I do have to play Castlevania 3 eventually. Let me get the volume. A friend of mine mentioned that the Japanese version of Castlevania 3 has, well, I guess it's the Super Famicom has a better sound chip, so the music in the game is sounds better at the cost of the story. So I'm thinking, if I want to play that, do I want to do I want to do the that for the music, or do I want to keep the story? Because it feels like I'd want to keep the story, just because. It's a bit crusty audio, huh? All right, here's the plot. Who do you play as in this game? Is this, a, is this a reimagining of Castlevania 1, or is this like a sequel? As I said, I really don't know anything about this one, except that you can whip in eight directions. It's a reimagining of Castlevania 1. Okay, okay. So you play as Simon. Okay, okay, thank you. Another Belmont. Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Draculaur starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister actions have been consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. This screen scrolls as slowly as Symphony of the Night's Game Over. <laughs> it's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family. But now the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces. On a dark and eerie night, Dracula arose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. Any... <clears throat> just, just a little faster, please. Once again, Simon Belmont is called upon to destroy Dracula with only his whip and courage. He sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. Okay, hold on. Quick question. So... Dracula is revived every 100 years. 100 years pass, Dracula's back. And now Simon has to go and destroy Ca Dracula again? Does that mean Simon is, like, over 100 years old? What? What, what, what do they mean? What do they mean again? That would imply that he's done this before, but it, it just said it's been 100 years since he's been alive. He talked. I got- okay. <laughs> I got questions. Oh, nope. That's a spoiler. Okay, how do you play this game? Simon 2. No, that's his quest. Oh god, I gotta figure out which button does what. B, Y, uh. 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 <laughs> I don't know what I just did! I know what happened. My analog stick is mapped to diagonal inputs, so what that means is I just scrolled down and changed them to- What were they, chat? Somebody please help me. What, what were these before I fucked it up? 
I I forgot how I mapped my control stick. So <laughs> just change the way it would feel good. The, the, this is a super this is a SNES controller layout and I'm using an Xbox, so it's not the same. I need to think. Okay, hold on. Uh No, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I think that's perfect, because if I remember correctly, the SNES button layout is the same as an Xbox controller. So, A is actually A, and X is actually X. Yes. Yes. Yes? Ooh. Item. That, I don't, I don't think that's that bad. You know what? Yeah. Let's, let's try it, see if it works. The way I have my controller, the base of my thumb is on jump, and the end of my thumb is on attack. That's how I prefer to do my uh, my jumping and whipping. I do that for every single game with Castlevania and Mega Man. Enter my name. Okay, another question, chat. Is there a specific name I can enter for different things? I probably won't do that. But, like, I'm just wondering if, there's a, if that's a thing you can do. Just affects passwords. Oh. A. S. Nice font. I can barely read that. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Blank name is what's used for passwords online. Well, I prefer to use my own passwords anyway. I can understand that, though. Here we go. Hold on, volume is now... Crank that shit. Crank that shit. Okay. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a problem, chat. There's a problem. Okay. Okay, here's the problem. So, you can whip in eight directions, right? But, but what that means is, you can't, I can't, I can't really do that because corner inputs, I don't think you could map corner inputs, double inputs to be corner inputs in this game. So, to, in order to do that, I have to press up on my, my joystick, which is angled to uh, northwest, so it sends that way. I can do that, and I can do... If I hold forward, I go upwards. If I jump and hold down, I can shoot diagonal downwards. And if I hold, I do left and jump, I can do that. Joy to key? Can you, can you do that? Oh, I can spin the whip. Yeah. Yeah. Also, my buttons are wrong. My buttons are very wrong. Okay, chat, we're gonna need to figure this out real quick because that's gonna be difficult and I don't know if that's such a good idea. Is there a way I can map this? Is there is there a better way I can map this? Also, my buttons are really weird because A and X actually are swapped on the Xbox controller, so B and Y. B and Y are what is causing me to jump right now. If you use NES, don't recall ever needing map corner buttons. I am using uh, ZNES. Here's the thing, I'll read you the input configuration. So there's there's up, left, down, right, B, A, Y, X, start, select, L, and R, right? But then below R, there's up, left, up, right, down, right, and down, left. So I don't think this controller can read those inputs. Oh, wait, no. No, it can. Oh, no way. Well, I'll be, I'll be a son of a bitch. Look at that. It reads it perfectly. <laughs> All right. Problem solved. Nice. Uh, okay, jump is A. So I want to make jump B button. And I want to make whip Y button. And that should, that should fix all of my issues. 
Uh, I did it again. All right. This time for real, for real. For real, for real. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Actually, I wonder... I wonder if control stick is better for this. Well, it's D-pad on the original, so... Okay. Alright, I'm ready, chat. Can you... Okay, you can angle. You can't angle downwards on the stairs. That's weird. But you can angle upwards. You can also do this. If you, if you hold... If you have, hold down forward, you moonwalk. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're at Skull Rock, that's all. And our button will be... Sub weapon. It'll just take me the first stage to get used to what's going on, and by the by that point, by stage two, I will probably die a lot, but I'll get used to it. of the red rupees. There we go. Now it begins. Now the big whip. The o As I said, the only thing I knew about this game is the ability to whip in multiple directions, which is great because one of the biggest complaints I've ever had with Castlevania... Okay, hold on, can you... Can you... You can't slide, okay. But if I press down on stairs, if I hold down and press jump on stairs, I can fall through them. Understand. Not being able to whip any direction besides forward and backwards is such a pain in the ass. Because it's when you, whenever you get stuck on stairs, there's no way to really deal with it. There's a little bit of awkwardness to the jump angle, but it's... It's definitely way more lenient. Oh my god, that is so nice. Okay, the controls are like butter. The music, soothing to the ears. Man, I kind of regret not really getting into Castlevania way back when it was, when it was. Never had a, never really owned a game. Although I feel like if I actually owned Castlevania, the original, I would not have enjoyed the series. It would have been one of those games I just had, and I was like, Oh, it's too hard for me to beat. I don't want to play it. Of course, I also owned Donkey Kong Country 3, but that game wasn't ever beaten by me or Christian. That was a game that... That was a game that our mom played. Our mom beat that game. Not 100%. But she did beat it, and we just kind of walked around the map. We just kind of walked around the map and did levels, and mostly fought the bosses. I remember the the first boss in Donkey Kong Country 3, you know the barrel thing? The, the, the living barrel that you have to throw beetles into its mouth? That thing. That scared me a lot. It's invincibility. No wall meat? Okay, okay. But I've played the original Castlevania now, and... Oh, it was a hard game. <laughs> Oh my god, that game was hard. Chat, is the volume a bit too loud? Like, I can't tell, because like sometimes it's really quiet, and then immediately when uh, when that starts, it's it's ridiculous. And I, I, can't, I can't seem to strike a good balance here. Okay. We'll go with that. That should be good. Do I want to go down there? No, I'm just going to keep moving on. Never played... Dracula's Curse. I've only ever heard the legends of it, and it's like glaring stupidity. Castlevania 3, I know, is a very big one. 
I know that one's good, but I also know that one's hard as shit. My only real uh, experience with that is watching Vinny play it. And I'm pretty sure Vinny took about four hours or so to beat stage seven, because stage seven is like, wow. What were they doing with stage seven? There's a whole segment in that thing, in that stage, that looks pretty much impossible to do if you don't have Alucard with you. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna get used to this whipping thing. I'm one of those players that pretty much never uses their sub weapons, hoards all of their sub weapon ammo for the boss, and then goes ham on the boss. So was the first boss. Holy water? Actually, yes, I will take holy water. I know that some... Some items are better than others, depending on the game. I don't know how it is for this game, but Holy Water did not let me down in the original, so I'm sure I won't let me down here. Although there's a good chance that when an item... no oh god. When an item is incredibly good in a previous game, it gets nerfed to shit the next time. Dracula... Dracula has good balancers. They don't want to make things too easy. Oh. Nice. Would have rather wall meet. Mm, sub weapons aren't great in this game. Well, sub weapons are usually. I don't think the sub weapon should ever be better than the main whip. That's for sure. But like holy water in the first game was insane. You because it just caused everything to stop and constantly take damage anyway. And you can pretty much use it to. Oh, that's good. You can use it to stun lock Dracula. Hold on a second. Okay, hold, 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 hold on a goddamn second. What just happened? I got hit twice in that entire stage, and then I walked on a platform and instantly died. Oh, there goes my, uh, my whip power up too. Oh, I fucking love Castlevania. No. This is supposed to be level 2 jargon. Why am I getting this now? Medusa heads only spawn the way you're facing, yeah? What is that? Oh, it's a block. A ghost? Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those games. Woo! How am I not dead? I had a good start. I was I was just going. I was doing great, and then that happened, and then everything went wrong. Whew. Yeah, I don't trust anything. All right, boss time. What am I hitting? The horse? Okay. I had to hit the horse's face. Bring it on, boom boy! Easy. Here's the orb. You don't think that's a horse? What could it possibly be if not a horse with the skeleton man riding on it? That's a good pose. <laughs> I love hitting poses on orbs. It's only stage one. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, what? What is going on with this map? This is the inside of the castle? Is... Where, where, where am I going down? Am I going down there? Seems kind of dragony, but it had four legs. 
All right, that's that's an enemy and a half right there. Oh, okay, it doesn't actually hurt you. So how many times has Castlevania 1 been made at this point? There's the original Castlevania, of course. There's this game. I guess you could Well, I don't know. Would you would you say that Rondo of Blood and Dracula X they're, they're, they're supposed to be the same game, right? So would you really call that a reimagining? Even if Dracula X is probably different enough from Rondo of Blood that it could be considered, like, a reimagining. But that was not really... I don't think that was the intended case for it. Whereas in this one, it's pretty obvious what it was supposed to be. Although it's obvious, it's not a... I'm not even at the castle yet, so there's more to it than just that. I don't know. These older ones I don't know much about. There was that one on Sega Genesis, right? Uh, which one was that? That was the one with uh, LeCarte and Morris. Those characters that y you wouldn't you wouldn't have expected to show up. Speaking of the LeCartes, though, C uh, Curse of the Moon 2 is coming out soon. And one of the characters, I think it's Dominique, she plays very similarly to LeCarte. She has the spear movements. It's a, it's a butchered port. Pretty much, yeah. Dragale X is a bit of a mess. You can play it, you can beat it, but... I haven't actually played Rondo myself. I'll probably do that sometime. There's the castle in the background. It's a, that's a very nice touch. Because after playing Dracula X and getting the good ending, I was like, I'm not going to touch Castlevania for a bit. These games are great, but I feel like if you play them all in a row and you don't have prior experience with them, they're just going to make you very mad. Very, very, very mad. Especially Castlevania 2. Simon's Quest seems like a mess. I know I can whip in multiple directions, but my like I'm not I'm not used to it. So I keep trying to do jump whips, because that's the only angle I'm familiar with. But of course, there are different things you can do. Where you don't need to do that. I can't get that. I have an axe. Oh, this is great. Frog boy. Oh, okay, it doesn't kill you. How could a frog do that much damage? It's not even Suecos. So there are eight stages in this game, yeah? I'm only basing that on, uh, I'm basing that on pretty much nothing, actually. Nice. And I got the cross, too. Cross is probably my favorite sub-weapon. That's how I beat death <laughs> in the original, and... <laughs> Oh my god, that was a that was a hell of a stage. Castlevania 2 is so best it started a guy's career. <laughs> I do appreciate that they made a that fans made a patch to like improve on a lot of the issues. They made a lot of the hints less cryptic bullshit, and they sped up the text for the night transition because that that was definitely a break in immersion for sure. There are a few of those Black Sheep games that I've never played myself that I've heard about, like Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is... I don't think Zelda 2 is a bad game, though. I just think Zelda 2... It's, see, it's a weird thing to say, because Zelda's, like... The Legend of Zelda series is, what, 30 years old now? Oh, hold on. That cross did, like, half of its HP. Oh, it's not over? Oh, we're not done. That was- that was a mid-boss. Cool. Uh, back what I was saying. Zelda's, like, 30 years old now, yeah? So, the thing is, at the time, Zelda 2 was the- the second Zelda- Legend of Zelda entry, right? But nowadays, when we look at- when we look at Zelda 2, 
we we think, oh, that's, it's not really, it's not a bad game, but it's not a Zelda game. But at the time that it came out, it it only had one other game that you could compare it to, which is the original Legend of Zelda. And to you could argue that because it's the original, it it obviously is the the base. But in with like Toho, Toho's first game was like Brick Breaker, and then Toho Two was when it started being a shmup. But you could also argue there that those games released at the same time. So even though it's called Toho Two, it it still released as one of the first in the series. So <laughs> it's a weird one. But I just find it interesting how we can look back on these older games, the water's changing direction. We can look back at these older games and say that they're not bad, but they're not like the, uh, that kind of game. But in, in those instances with like Dracula or Simon's Quest and Legend of Zelda 2, there was only one other game at the time. But if we, if we go to the future and we talk about something like Metroid Prime or Metroid Federation Force, that is very, very obviously not a Metroid game. I don't know. I don't know. What are your opinions, chat? Give me, give me your opinions. Wait, they put the boss in the middle of the stage? Castlevania is an action RPG now. I can't say I've ever actually seen or played uh, Castle any Castlevania on a 3D platform. The only ones I've ever touched are the classic ones. And even then, not all of them. And... A couple of the Metroidvania ones, like Symphony of the Night. Uh, I, I actually really like Circle of the Moon, despite its flaws. Uh, Harmony of Dissonance is... is very weird. Maxim and Joost are, are strange, but... They're fine. I like Nathan, though. In Circle of the Moon. The last one I played was Aria of Sorrow. And Aria of Sorrow is really good, but the problem I had with it was I, I made the mistake of trying to get every soul in a, in a first playthrough, and all it did was like blatantly overlevel my character to a point where I didn't need to really try anymore. And it, it really it really screwed the end game up for me. Like, I had every soul in the game, and I obviously didn't need to do that, because the soul rates are so low. And you can't buy the soul ring from Hammer without, like, a ridiculous amount of money, so what's even the point? So I decided that when I ever get around to playing Dawn of Sorrow, I wouldn't do that, but I haven't, haven't done that since. I don't know anything about Portrait of Ruin, just that the main character is a Morris, and LeCarte makes an appearance. And Order of Ecclesia, which I don't know anything about at all. Just that the main character is a uh, doesn't seem to have any relation to the Belmonts, or if she does, then I really don't know anything about it. There we go. Ooh, ooh, secrets! I'll take that cross. I like how points are money, just bags of money. Nice, very good. Hmm, my only opinion is I'm sure whether I'm glad that we don't do more dress changes off or if we actually missed them. My opinion on it is that we- the reason so many games had such an odd- like an odd, uh, genre change for the second game was because it was within the realm of experimentation. Back then, you could do that. And if you did do that and it didn't work out, then it was- it wasn't, like, the end of the world. But nowadays, the way it tends to work is people don't- companies don't want to do what doesn't work. Like, there have been established formulas. At this point, formulas have been established for all genres that are- you can fit a mold into. And nobody really wants to break that mold because... Profits. Don't want to hurt profits. And that's- 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 that's the shame. That's the shame of it all because it is- It's not like I don't understand it. First and foremost, to business. But I guess back then, games had... Games were expensive as a, as a, a medium. And a lot of games were obscenely difficult. So they could just kind of experiment with things without... 
too much hassle, I suppose. Obviously, I don't I don't know at all prior with any experience because I don't do any of that stuff. This is all just me talking out of my ass. Could be wrong, could be right. But they pretty much figured out early on because there was no established genres at these points in time. Legend of Zelda 1 was probably wasn't the first of its kind, but it was the first well, like super well received of its kind. That makes sense. So they tried Zelda 2 to see if they could spice it up. Zelda 2 was a bit middling in response. And what came after that? Was that... What came after Zelda 2 chat? Was that A Link to the Past? Which is one of uh, one of the most beloved Legend of Zelda games ever created. And it's in the style of Zelda 1. If Zelda 2 was originally not Zelda, I'd believe that. It could be an... It could very much be an instance of a... Uh, another game IP, and they were like, mm, what if we just make it an existing IP and see if that works? Hmm, Miyamoto considers Zelda 2 his only bad game. Well, then Miyamoto needs to get a reality check. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't kill me. My point, my point there is, like, uh, in the case of, like, Star Fox, Dinosaur Planet was... Star Fox Adventures was originally Dinosaur Planet, but they thought they could market it better by attaching to the Star Fox franchise, which didn't really work. And you can't really say for... I don't... I don't want to say for sure that that's what ruined it, but here's a spoiler for Star Fox Adventures. It definitely did alter how things would be because... Because it had to be a Star Fox game, there had to be Star Fox elements in it. Which meant that the final boss of the game had to just be an incredibly rushed, uh, incredibly rushed and added Andros, because why wouldn't Andros show up in a Star Fox game? So the main villain they set up, General Scales, barely has anything to do with the game itself at all. It kind of sucks. Everybody loves General Scales and his strange language. Nice. He just speaks gibberish and then General Scales! So it seems the screen does not scroll with me when I go downwards, so I need to be careful not to just fucking die. Good. I have max hearts. And I have not found a... I have not found a, an item to let me throw more things in quite a while, and I have a feeling that's because I choose not to throw my things. I probably should, because I have way too many hearts. <laughs> hmm. Damn it! I want no. Does a stopwatch have any effect with that kind of thing? Fishman. All right. This is okay. Interesting. Oh. There's my crossback. Seekers. I hate Seekers. He's blocks his stable for a second. I did play both Tolovanias, yeah. Ugh. Fuck! Man! I lost everything. All my hearts are gone. Why are there so many more fishmen? What the hell is this? Fine. No, no thanks, I'm good. I'm good, I'm fantastic even. There's definitely nothing down there, so I'm not going down there. All right, let's try this again. What? cock of fanny But it's dead. Need a whip upgrade. Nice. There we go. I do like that the game prioritizes the whip upgrades and those things. I need that. Nice. 
<laughs> Man! I liked it better. I like it in Symphony of the Night when you grab a sub weapon, it, it knocks the old one out so you can re-grab it in case that wasn't the one you wanted. I don't I don't know if that water is an instant kill, but I, I have a I have a pretty good feeling that it's not friendly at least. I'm always worried that's gonna kill me as well. There we go. Link to the Past is Zelda 3. That's what I thought. And again, right? It's like Zelda 1, great game. Zelda 2, infamous game. And then Zelda 3, Link to the Past. One of... One of the uh, most highly regarded Legend of Zelda games to date. What just happened? Would it be fair to say that Link to the Past is the most popular Legend of Zelda game? Because... Ocarina of Time is very good as well. Oh shit. But is Ocarina of Time as beloved? This is the question. Because personally, here's here's my here's my video game hot take. I don't actually really I don't like Link to the Past that much. I'm gonna do this. How much need for the axe sub weapon if that's what you can do? No Green of Time and Jorah's Mask are definitely up there, for sure, but, but like, people talk about Link to the Past as like one of the greatest games ever made, and I actually don't like it that much, and I couldn't even tell you why. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Don't think you were just intended to take him out. I'm making a lot of these jumps, barely, by the skin of my teeth. Bird. Bird. Just... Just bird. Just bird. I can't believe I died. I'm so scared that's gonna fuck up. You merge OT Majora's Mask in one area, you're most popular by far. Mmm, fair. Fair thing to say. I think I like Majora's Mask more than I like Ocarina of Time, and I, I couldn't really tell you why that is. Oh, that was close. I am not doing this right. Oh my god, it's like I'm trying to die. There we go. Come on. Who wants to break the news to the poor sap? <laughs> Sorry, man. You get the wrong guy. <laughs> Whee! Mm, Ocarina of Time. Oh! Ooh. Ocarina of Time is great. I had it on 64, and I didn't own Majora's Mask, and then I had the Collector's Edition, and I didn't, I mean, I didn't have it, but I, I borrowed it from a friend, and it had, a, it had a demo of Wind Waker on it, and it had Ocarina of Time, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and, Ma Ma and Major's Mask on it. So that was actually my first instance of ever playing Major's Mask. And what, here's what happened. I was doing the Great Bay quest, you know the one, you get the Zora Mask, you get the, you get all the eggs from Pinnacle Rock. What's going on? You do the Pirate's Fortress. And then you get the New Wave Bossa Nova. And I was all done that. Oh, this lag's like a motherfucker. I don't have a sub-weapon. Oh. oh, you put me all the way back here. <laughs> all right, all right, that's fine. That, that's fine. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, 
That's it. No, that's it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. I'm dead. I, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Uh oh. Do I? Do I reset the screen? I I, I guess. Please go up the stairs, please. All right, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a pain in the ass. This stage is long. This stage was very long. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. I have a, okay. I have a sub weapon. Why did I not have a sub weapon before? I need I need axe. The axe will make fighting that thing a lot easier because I can just lob axes at it. All right. It's all I need. It's all I need. Just need to not fuck up. Easier said than done, I know. Okay, this guy drops a ton of hearts, so he's worth taking out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I like him. That bone dragon is my friend. Anyway, back to what I was saying. <sighs> I did all the... I did the side quest that I needed to do. Or not side quest, but mandatory. Mm -hmm. Mandatory! Quest. I went to play the song of time to, to save, and then the game aired. And then I had to do the entire thing over again. And I decided I didn't want to do that, so then I stopped playing Major's Mask. It wasn't until like a couple of years later when we got it on Virtual Console for the Wii that I did sit down and 100% it. The thing is, though, I like Majora's Mask, but there are a lot of elements of Majora's Mask that feel really tedious. Like, incredibly tedious, to a point where it's not fun. But I still, I really like the game, and I think that's because of the, the whole story aspect of it, how it's more dark. Alright. I have the ledge. Yeah! Oh, one's dead. <gasps> Come on, please. Yeah! <sighs> yeah, hearts are sub weapon ammunition. Majora's Crystal. Never heard of it. Is it good? Stage four. Okay. Here we go. Sounds cool. Yeah, but you gotta I gotta wonder how the gimmick works, right? Alright. Oh, this is a good track. Castlevania is one of those series that has a ton of music in it, and I, I legitimately don't think it has a single bad track. They're all really good. Obviously, some are more uh, beloved than others, but I don't think any Castlevania track I've ever listened to and I thought, eh. You have to beat Crystal and the clock is sped up. I don't get it. Do I just- what happens if I run out of time? Do I just die? What's the time looping part do? There are a lot of questions here that need answers. Majora's Mask is built around this function. Whereas, in this case, this is uh, the game has to be designed with- The game's not designed around this, so a lot of things had to be done. I had, uh, I had zero lives left, so I figured why not, I'll just do that. Get away, Skeleton Warrior. Oh, oh. Oh, I wanted... I say I wanted healing, but I only needed healing because of that. No 1cc. Well, I got the stage 4 on one on one continue, so that's pretty impressive. I, I, well, I'm going to tell myself that. You can't take that away from me. I hate Wall Shadow. 
It was in Yu-Gi-Oh, and now it's here. Not even a good, not even a good card. It's basically just Lambeth Wall, but with attack. And it needs a special uh, spell card to summon. And I think it needs Lambeth Wall on the field. I don't remember. I had two copies of that card. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I like the the skulls are looking at me in the wall. What? What? Now you you wait a second. How do I do that? I can't. How do I? Do I? Huh? Do what? What do I? Jesus, that does not give you much time to react. Be quick. Yeah, I figured it out. We're okay. Hmm. See. Oh, it does it if you land on it. So you can walk across it. Okay. Okay, now I know how that works. I'm no longer scared of it. As long as I don't land on it, it's fine. Oh, did you see how quick that was? Now that's quick. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Oh, already? That's a short level. That's a big skull. Ew! Oh, disgusting! Oh, that's alright. Well. Oh, okay, it's the halfway point. That makes more sense. This looks terrible. Look at this, look at this clown. <laughs> oh shit! All right, now I understand how he ended up like that. I was almost a clown. Please. What, uh huh, hmm? huh? What happened? What? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh. Not going that way. <laughs> Barely not. <laughs> so it's a survival segment. Okay. I have to wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. What do I do? Chat, do I go down the hole? Hold on. Oh, thank God. Well, that wasn't so bad. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a warning here because I know exactly what this is. The background is going to spin, and it's we're in like a tube, right? So if you if you don't like that kind of imagery, I wouldn't blame you. To be honest with you, it could be real dizzying. Maybe uh maybe watch just watch yourself. HMs don't require badges. There's physical special split in fairies. Roadblock and NPCs are removed, making limitations just by items in HMs. So it resets the cycle. Clearing your party and items. PC is safe and you can deposit your last mom. Key items and HMs are safe too. One second and one minute. Is one minute in game while out force to save and thus a new cycle. What? 
The fuck? You want a funny? Let me think of a joke. Uh, I don't understand that at all. Oh, 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 I hate it. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Please. Alright. Oh. I had one. Oh, fuck, I had one. I had a joke. I had a stupid joke. I should write these down more. No! Yeah, that, it's ended up looking worse than I thought it was going to. Oh, I don't- I do not like this one bit. The skeletons pop out of the crystal. Alright, chat, here's- Here's your joke. What is a Komeiji's favorite day? And now it's going the other way. Why do you have more than one HP? Oh, oh I can't. Holy oh, rotoscope! <laughs> Satori day, yes, that is correct. Satori day. There you go. I hope you were Oku with that joke. If not, I'll try to think of something more original. What am I doing? What what is this segment? What the hell is this? <laughs> Am I about to die? I, I- I can't- I can't tell what's going on. Is this just good? Am I- am I going- am I going up or around? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's- it's disgusting, that's for sure. I- I don't like this. <laughs> Just go up? I guess so, yeah. It's a maze level. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. I'm scared I'm just gonna get Yoda'd. There's nothing here. There's nothing here! Have I been here before? This looks very familiar. It is looping. It's definitely looping. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, that wasn't that bad. Alright, here we go. I'm not hitting it. Nah, I don't want points. That's very good. Nice. Okay. That was very weird, because, like, it, 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 I thought it was looping. It looked like it was looping, and then it was just different. Okay. Alright. Let's not fuck up here. What?
I should probably warn about the flashing lights. I can't do much about them. I apologize. I will just try to kill the boss fast. That was a very strange boss. There's a timer? I didn't even realize I had a time limit this whole time. Now that you've said that, I'm gonna be painfully aware of it. <laughs> Here we are, stage five. We're in the castle now. Or, or at least I thought. I thought I was in the castle like two levels ago. How do you get more one-ups in this damn game? Honestly, I just can't wait to hear this game's rendition of Vampire Killer. This game- this day has a super short time limit. Oh, does it? Yeah, I, again, I didn't even realize there was a time limit this entire time. Score at the end of the level. I guess, but I haven't seen one happen yet. Maybe it did and I didn't hear the jingle. Okay, at least I only have one hit. All right. This right here is why angled whips is the best thing you could possibly have given me. So what happens if you run out of time? Does the game just, does the level just reset? Do you game over? Like, what happens? Skeletons with whips. I'll just do the classic method of tra transportation. That's a good one to hit. This looks like the entrance. Am I done? You die. Really? This looks like a Mario RPG map. That wasn't so bad. Look at that. There's breakable walls at 1-ups. Alright, now I have plenty of time. The dog is not staying dead. Perhaps that's for the best. <laughs> Look the noise those guys make. Shit! Just throw across. Just in case. I should really utilize my, 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 my whip flicky because that does take care of a lot of those annoying enemies that only have one HP. Oh, the Axe Knights. They come back! They do that in every game, don't they? Please don't touch me. 20,000 points. So I- oh yeah, I did get one because I had one a second ago. I lost my cross. That's not good. I'll keep going with it. Not not as good as I thought. Uh, you know, it just fucked my shit up. I hate the axe armor. Especially in the original. That guy was a pain in the ass. I think... I think that was mostly due in part to him being in the uh, that hallway though. You know, the most infamous hallway in the entire game. The one right before death. I hate that hallway. Like, when you look at that hallway, it makes perfect sense, but it's very hard to execute it properly. You need to do everything super properly so you don't get screwed over by Medusa head spawns while fighting the axe armors. And if everything goes well, then congrats, you get through a damage list, but things don't ever go well so what ends up happening is you get your ass kicked a lot and then you have no lives for death 
and then you get to death, and then you finally kill death with a cross, and then his stupid scythe is still active. So the motherfucker gets you killed anyway, even while he's dying. And then you have to do the whole level over again for like the 18th time, and you just don't want to do it. Five hits, I think. I can't really tell. Amazingly enough, uh, when I... It did take me a very long time to beat death stage, but when I got to the next stage immediately after, I pretty much beat it on my first try. Pretty sure I died once, and then after that, I just nail it. And I just had to be Dracula. Which is great, because I don't know how difficult that section is actually supposed to be, but getting through it in one go was was definitely good. Because Dracula took some time. Dracula makes sense as a fight, he's just incredibly slow if you die. Because you have to hit him like 12 or 13 times, and then you have to do a second phase. Oh my god. Nice. How do you even throw a boomerang axe? Oh god. Everybody just screw off. There we are. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, this is an easy position to hit. Okay, good. Just now realizing you can jump on the stairs, hold up, and then land on- Oh, no. I didn't know that this was in this game. I know what this is. This is the fucking chandelier jumps. Chad, I can't do this. This looks terrible. I'm worried I'm gonna like slide off the the, the damn thing. <laughs> how about a how about some wall chicken here? If there are Medusa heads that show up, I am in. I'm not gonna be able to do this with my amount of HP. Or just in general, because I'm going to get knocked off the damn thing. <sighs> Got it. Can't tell if the floor below is gonna break because it's cracked. Okay. Playing it real safe. What are you? What, 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 what's going on? I, what? <laughs> Why am I being attacked by Rainbow Cloud? What? I don't know what these enemies are. They're just people. Good. Ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Ectoplasm. Mm. Goo. The goo. The ghost goo. Thank you. This is great. Fuck. I, why am I chasing it? <laughs> it's just gonna come back. <laughs> oh. uh. Nope. Just not messing with that. I got balls of steel. What? How? There was no point to this, but I had to check. I like looking for secrets. The Axe Knight will come back. Yeah. 
That was a lot easier to deal with than before, at least. Now, if these break, I'm in trouble. Now what? Now what? Please tell me those were set positions. <laughs> Please? Oh, they do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. The good old days. He's gonna hit me because I'm adjusting my seat. I can't believe they gave the Bone Boys 2 HP. I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna get jumped by something. I am one hit from death. These blocks are destructible. Ah. That can stay the hell away from me. What? Chat, what is it? Why? How do- what? what? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Well, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Wait, how did I hit him? Oh, that's how. Wow, that really worked. Red bones. Yeah, I know what those do. Skeleton with a whip. This isn't so bad. The foreground's not too distracting that I can't see through it. It depends how fast these guys get up, really. That's not bad. Yep, okay, good. Is it just me, or are they getting more HP? What? That's very nice. Uh, okay. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Wait, what? Huh? It's annoying, but can probably deal with that. How about a small one? I'll take it. Whew, I think for that wall, mate. What is this, Dracula already? Huh? <laughs> I just got attacked by tableware. But like... Oh, not not just any tableware. The whole the whole set. Oh my! Please. I need a healing item again. No! Come on, give me give me some mini wall chicken. I'm scared of everything. That would be what I'm scared of. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, now I can chuck three axes until I die. Which is... Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have 94 ammunition, and I have the ability to throw three axes and half my HP. Who's the boss? Who are you? Fuck! Man! 
I could have had that. I totally could have had that, but I botched it. Get everything get out of the way. Move. Move. Ah, oh, great. This whole hallway over again. Where's the sub weapon? Why? What? Where? Well, I know there's some meat at least at the end of it. They have two hits, okay. I keep getting a bunch of ammunition, but I haven't got a sub weapon yet. <sighs> really? Meat. There's no sub weapon. That's bad. Yeah, that was bad. It's a bit awkward to do the, the jumping. They move towards you, I think. I need a... I need a sub-weapon for this, but I don't, I don't have anything. These guys don't drop anything, they're just in the way. This is a waste of my time! Maybe if I die again, I'm gonna reset the room and see if the whip upgrade is a sub weapon instead. I need to be careful how fast I go because if I spawn too many of these things, it becomes obnoxious. That takes care of everything immediately on screen at least. Okay, the one-up just keeps coming back then. Which means I can just keep trying this. Did you farm one-ups? Actually, yeah, let me try that. No, the wall doesn't break more than once. Not a bad idea, though. Okay. Brute force, baby. Brute force. Did you farm chicken this way? Maybe, but now we won't have to do that. What's next? Stage 6, 7? VII? That's stage 7, yeah? We're going. We're going and we're going good. Big night, boys. Damn, Dracula, you live like this? Oh, it's the library. There are a couple Castlevania staples that you come to expect when you play a Castlevania game. That book is shaking. Don't like that. I mean, I think the most, uh... The most used or well-known Castlevania, like, land piece or area is the clock tower. Seems like you just can't have a, a Castlevania game without that. There's also the library. The library is a pretty damn popular one. It makes sense why there's a library in the castle since Dracul Draculor is a smart boy. And if you've seen the Castlevania show, then, yeah. Actually, I should probably ask, is the, is, is the Castlevania show on Netflix, like, 
canon, so to speak. I know it's based off, uh, it's based off of Dracula from Dr Castlevania 3, but I, I don't really know much about the lore from Castlevania 3. Just that the Belmonts were exiled because they were they were feared, and then when Dracula came back, then they 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 called the Belmonts help. But in the same time, in Castlevania three, in Castlevania three, Dracula is was once a human. He was like a human sorcerer or something that became vampire instead of just being like, oh here's here's Dracula. Oh, fucking books. <laughs> what the fuck? Where's the there we go, that's what I was looking for. It's not officially canon, okay, but but it it does it does make sense to me. Like Lisa's obviously canon, because that is that's the name of Dracula's mother. Or <laughs> Alucard's mother, sorry. But whether or not uh, Dracula was a scholar or anything, I don't, I don't know about that one. It seems, well, it seems likely. I mean, obviously he has a giant library in here. It's just an adaptation of Castlevania Three. Fair enough, fair enough. It's a good one though. Please get away from me. I want to find some meat. Can't have Clock Tower that's Scissor Man. Well, <laughs> there are definitely a lot of Scissor Mans in later games. I was thinking Flea Man. What the hell is this? Wow, I shouldn't be alive right now. All right, cool. No, I'm good. Flea men and Medusa heads. I hate Medusa heads, man. I... This lady... What just happened? What? What just happened? Oh, I think I got grabbed by something. I was like, I couldn't move, and then I got hit by a billion bats. I want that. Ooh. Nice! Right before, right after I died. Cool. Trevor and Saifa are a couple in the games. They have two different descendants, so they're cheating on each other. They gave kids different family names. True. I mean... Oh, you can go right down. To be fair, at the same time, there's also characters like Hector showing up. Pretty sure Hector's a character from Lament of Innocence, is it? On like the uh, PS2 or uh, whatever? I actually don't know. And then there was Isaac. Who is Isaac? He's a he's a character that was made for the anime. Carmilla is Carmilla's not a new character by any means. But she's always been a loyal servant to Dracula and appears in like pretty much as many times as she can, but in this game she's like her own independent uh, agent. So there are a lot of creative liberties for sure. I guess nitpicking it for canon would be a bad idea. There are some elements in there that are accurate. Yeah, wall me, baby. Nash. Nash. Is that a peed? Oh, peed! Nice. Mmm, and the Lord of Shadows 3DS game, Sypha and Trevor are Simon's parents. What the fuck? I thought- I thought Simon was like two or three generations after Trevor, because Trevor's the second Belmont, right? Isn't- isn't it like, uh, isn't it Leon Belmont, Trevor Belmont, uh, Christopher Belmont, and then Simon Belmont? Isn't that how it goes? How could- how could Trevor be his parents? They're supposed to be like, like.
Border Shadows are shit, don't listen to it. A friend of mine also told me about that one that was on, uh, on 3DS. Mirror of Fate, I think it was. That game had some whack cannon too, didn't it? Didn't that game... Wasn't there a game that implied that, uh, Alucard, like... There was a game that implied that Alucard had, uh, got married to a Belmont, wasn't there? Or something like that? There seems to be a lot of lore that is, uh, ignored because it's just stupid. God damn it. And then there's that mobile game, Grimoire of Shadow or whatever, that is, I'm, I'm told, is canon for some reason. You can't throw that, dude. Uh, Castlevania Legend, it's not canon. Nice. Loud. Holy loud. Alright, did I win or lose? I never played, uh, I never played the one Leon's from. I don't remember which one that is. I just know that Leon is the first Belmont. It was definitely, I think, it was, was it, was it the PS2 game? It wasn't Castlevania 64. That's, uh, that's Reinhardt, isn't it? Lament of Innocence. Yeah, no, I've never played it. I only know its name because of, uh, Smash Ultimate. Like, I had a, I had a friend who told me who Leon was and how that all started because the odds of me playing that game were pretty much slim to none. Although, I'm not opposed to it nowadays. So he just gave me a rundown on, on that game because it was it's pretty much the precursor to the entirety of the series. And that's how I learned that Leon was the original Belmont. Because I thought that Trevor was the first Belmont for a very long time. I didn't really- I wasn't really n into the series when it first came out. I only got into it very late. They're great games. They have cool lore. They're very interesting. But there's a lot I don't know. And the thing is, there's so much lore in games that I don't want to play because they're not great games. Oh, I'm fucking dead, Morty! Here I am again. That spider's ability is to shoot other spiders. It's a pretty sick ability. Ooh. Lament of Innocence has a sick track in Ultimate, though. That's... Yeah, there are, there are a lot of characters I just don't know anything about. I don't know what the, the Belmont timeline looks like. I only know the first four, which is what I said there. Pretty sure Richter's the fifth, right? Richter comes after Simon. But there's usually a generation gap. So, like, Richter is Simon's descendant, but it doesn't mean that he's... Richter is Simon's son. Well, like, Simon would be his grandfather, yeah? Something like that. After Simon is Juiced, then Richter. Oh. You know, the thing about Juiced is that, uh... He looks... He looks more like Alucard than, uh... That's an instant kill. I have learned something new today. Juiced, to me, looks more like, uh... Alucard or a vampire, just in general, than he does a Belmont. You gotta be fucking kidding me! I fell on top of that! His name is Juiced, by the way. I thought his name was Just, but the way it's pronounced in uh, Curse of the... or Ritual of the Night is Juiced. And since that game was made by the original creator of Castlevania, pretty sure he's right. So, uh, now his name... his name is now forever Juiced Belmont, because he is Juiced another Belmont. I like his friend, Maxim, the ninja man, who's like overworld sprite, looks absolutely nothing like him at all. Like they look like they're from two completely different games. There are a bunch of different modes and stuff in, what's that? Oh, never mind. 
There are a bunch of different modes in those games that add replay value that I just never did because once I finished the main game, I was done. The funny thing I found about Harmony of Dissonance... Well, when I played it at first, I was like, doesn't the, doesn't the game already have this, this like, acronym of HOD? And yes, Harmony of Despair, the PS3 game that's uh, really good, by the way. Just, uh, local multiplayer can be a bit of a bitch because the map zooms out so much that you're pretty much playing, uh, playing Castlevania for ants. But yeah, think about, uh, think about Juicy. The collectibles in his game are collecting furniture for a room in Dracula's castle, and then that's how you 100%. And you know what you get? You get to hold a girl's hand for collecting 100%. Pretty sick reward, gotta say. I'm dead. An interesting thing about that game, as well, that Christian told me while I was playing it. Like, when I was playing that game, I noticed that... I noticed that Juiced had a very, like, a very blue highlight to him. Like, he had a, he had a, he had a very bright, like, border around his character. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was, Christian told me the reason that was, because one of the... One of the main complaints that came from Circle of the Moon was that because the Game Boy Advance had no backlight, it was very hard to see in a lot of different areas. And given that your character was always... Your character was wearing, like, green, beige, and, like, light blue, so I can see why it'd be hard to pick him out. So what they did in the, the, the next game is they fucking killed Simon Belmont like that. No, uh, they put a... They put a... Oh, back at the start? Oh, my God. They put a, a bright blue border around him so you could always see where Juiced was relative to uh, the screen. Obviously, the, I didn't notice any of that because I wasn't playing on a Game Boy. I was playing on a, a, a Game Boy. But that was, uh, that was neat. Hmm. If there's one thing I don't really understand about Castlevania's direction, aside from a lot of things, it's... Why did Dawn of Sorrow change the art style to be like what it is castlevania one of castlevania's coolest aspects is that its art its art direction is fucking beautiful it it very much fits the uh the idea of the series very very well that's what i like about castlevania's artwork i don't know how to best explain it i don't think gothic is the right word but like if you looked at it if you looked at castlevania art you could tell like oh that's castlevania if that makes sense. It's that- it's that kind of good. I am very dangerously close to that. But then in Dawn of Sorrow, they're like, let's anime. And then, like, you can look at Soma from Arya, and he's like, holy shit, this is one handsome motherfucker. And then you look at- you look at Soma from- oh, from Dawn? You're like, oh, he is, uh, he's an anime boy, I guess. This is, I hate this. I hate this. Well, I, I, I don't know if they, I think they fixed it in Portrait of Ruin. I say fixed, that's probably a bad way to say it. Still anime and Portrait of Ruin. Oh, is it? What about Order of Ecclesia? Again, those two games I haven't touched in any capacity. I don't know anything about them. <laughs> and then you have... <laughs> oh, then you have Castlevania Judgment. <laughs> Chat, we own that game. The Ritter of the Art Style in Order of Ecclesia. Good. And obviously they're, they're going with that in the current mobile game. Castlevania Judgment. The art style for that game. I looked at the cover. And the cover, I was like, that's... That is, uh, that's Red-Headed Light Yagami. And then, I'm supposed to believe that's Simon Belmont. Oh my... 
my god, you are the worst enemy in the game! Oh my... The artwork style of the 3D models do not do work in the art. That is gonna be the strangest version of Simon Belmont I have ever seen in my life. He, he just... I thought Christian was joking. Cause he was like, the art was done by the guy who did Death Note. And I was like, yeah, it looks like that. And he said, no, it was done by him. I was like, what? What? This is terrible, but I have to do it. Oh my god, are you seeing this? I've never seen gameplay of Judgment, but I want to play it now, that's for sure. They made a- it's it's just a weird fighting game with Castlevania characters, but the art style is- it's not Castlevania. So I can only imagine- that's what Simon Belmont looks like on the cover. Go ahead, Google it. Check, Google it. Castlevania Judgment. And you'll find the cover, and the character on the cover is Simon Belmont. You won't believe it any more than I did, but that is who he is. That's redheaded Simon. Look at how Simon looks in Smash Ultimate. <laughs> Forgot you can, you can crouch walk. There's such a contrast in style there. Although, to be fair, it seems like... It seems like Smash's uh, version of, of uh, Simon Belmont is hit or miss depending on who you ask. I think it's fine. It's a little, it's a little goofy, a little Conan Barbarian-esque. But I think it captures who Bel- like it's supposed to- it's supposed to be like how he looks in the, the cover art for the original game. Oh my god, here- uh, here we go. Please don't kill me. I didn't realize I could stand in the swamp the whole time. If I had known that, I would have not been doing what I've been doing. I'm gonna play Lord of Shadows. That's the one on PS4, isn't it? If- if so, no. Breathe. Breathe. Wasn't it? Was it? Where was it? Lords of Shadows 2. The Judgment Simon is actually the first rendition I ever saw of him. Wow. How, how did it... I, I actually, I'm curious. When you when you saw what Simon Belmont actually looked like after the fact, how, how, did, how did you feel? Because, like, I've, I've seen so many different versions of Simon before I'd seen that. And I was like, what the fuck? But I can't imagine that being your first, uh, your first look at, at Simon. Because it is so far from what Simon is. <laughs> Oh, I hate this stage. Oh, I finally killed that fucking thing without losing all my HP.
touching the top of the spikes gives me it gives me the dead. I don't really agree with that design choice. Oh, that was close. Mm. Mm. Oh, you have a sub weapon to deal with the shit. Just, just get out of my way. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This room is now a science. anymore, man! Oh my god. That didn't stop it! How do I get through this? I don't understand! How do I do it? How do I do this? I don't know how to do it. I'm going fast. I'm going fast. Here we go. Da na 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 Please, please, everybody, just, just stop. No, no, no more. I don't want to play anymore. Oof. What's the point of full health if I just fucking die in one hit anyway? So in my Smash Bros. till I'm uh, Bros. Okay, saw this model. I looked up as I didn't know what Castlevania at the time, so I thought it was next to Simon. So it's, oh, it's supposed to be the same guy. Ah. Ah. That reminds me of uh, the, the brawl thing that Vinny played. Special! Chat, I'm gonna- I need to open my window, it's getting hot in here, and I have to take a piss, so... I'm, I'm gonna let- I need all of you to uh, put your brains together and figure out how the fuck I do this while I- while I- I'll be right back.
Okay, have we have we big brain chat? Have we big brain? What are we doing? Jump on top of them. I'll get crushed on the return because I can't. The second one goes back first. Uh. Uh. Jump right before the closest one hits bottom. Hit it and quickly pass the second. Wait, hit it. What do you mean hit it? I can't hit it. <gasps> what? I swear to God, they desynced. What the hell happened? No way. They they desynced. They had to have. They're, they're, that's they what? Huh? They, they, chat, they were going 2-1 before, right? Now they're going 1-2. What's going on here? Oh, boy! Touch the goo. All right. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm making progress. Is this gonna break? No. No. No! Oh, I'm alive. Never mind. there was fall damage the green blood hurts you are you kidding me I did not know that I I I I, <laughs> I didn't know it hurt me I thought it just made me sink a bit you can jump from it but you take damage okay yeah I didn't know that I was not paying attention at all when that was happening and because of it, I have goofed. I have made the ultimate mistake. Just, just everybody, everybody out of my way. Come on! Get away! Get away! Get away! I almost just died. Again! Okay. Uh oh. I'm trying to find a better way to do that because the way I 
it's the only way I can see I've been able to do that without getting hit is gonna require me to wait like eight cycles and Ain't nobody got time for that Ah! I just die. I'm a genius. Kyle, you're a genius. Spider's still following me. I didn't get the I didn't get the whip upgrade, and I don't know why. Huh? Where's my whip upgrade? Where's my whip upgrade? There it is. Why is there no checkpoint? Anywhere between any of this, please get away. Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> Hit him! Wall meat. Gotta get that wall meat. Gotta get that wall meat. If I jump, I die. Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. 
That's a speed run trick right there, ladies and gentlemen. I hit the damage boosty boost, and I can just heal it right up. Like a genius. Alright. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. The opposite. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'll take him. I need this. I forgot. I didn't. I for. Those are probably instant kills. happen that way. Okay, he succeeded in what he was meant to do. He scared the ever-living shit out of me when I hit him. Because <laughs> I thought he was instant kill spikes. <laughs> Crouch jump? You can do that! Alright, well, I've learned something.
So, oh, what's... Are these gonna kill me? They can't hit me if I crouch. But I can't... I can't hit any of that if I stand up. And I am definitely going to die if I try to do so. So now we're Mega Man. Could you go away? I'm running out of time. Boss. Who are you? Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> oh god damn it all right what's next what what is this why why are there why are there so many spooky ghosts damn it <laughs> Just hit me with everything you got. I don't know if it affects in this game, unless it's enemies, but I'll just do it anyway. It, okay, it applies to everything, so now I have three crosses, and I'm dead. That stage was technically two screens long. Did you notice that? The checkpoint is, is separated by which portion of the stage you're in. There was there was portion 8-1 and portion 8-2. That's it. This is... I, I am getting annoyed. Why does that break like that? No wonder that level was so hard. There was no fucking checkpoint anywhere. Look at all these resources for that sub-weapon I don't have. This is gonna be something. I've never seen a treasure room as a a level. It is about these bats, but their placement is is driving me insane. I can't hit them, and when they hit me, I get so. Ooh! So angry. <laughs> oh, beyond irritated! Ay, ay, ay. Do you really think I'm gonna do this entire stage with, like, half the amount of lives I'd start with otherwise? Do you know what happens if I get to the end of the stage and I die? And I game over? I go back to the start. So if I'm at the beginning of the stage anyway, I might as well start with the max amount of lives that I can. This is so... Cock! Ah! I can't. I want to hit them so badly, but I can't. And uh... <sighs> okay. Ah. Uh. 
Don't hit me. Again. Please don't hit me through the wall. Don't do it. Don't do that. Everything is just out of range from standing height. I fell anyway! Don't kill me, bro. What's this? Of course it's something good. Could you at least give me the dagger? Why are there so many ghosts? No, no, my game is lagging. Finally, perfect. Yes! Give me whatever this is! I should've used my axe for it. <laughs> oh my god, that, that, that scares me so badly every time it happens. There better not be a fucking bat on this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I see. I see. Bad big, bad big game. 
is easy. It's very easy. Good. I can't believe that entire portion. It's just one segment. What the hell? You <laughs> can't even get on there half the time. And I have to platform across it. Boy, bye. Okay. I didn't think he'd hit me. Yeah, that's 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 designed just to be out of your range. Nice. I don't need a boss. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Every time I get up there, he jumps down and just fucks my shit up. And then I fall. Because the platforms I'm standing on are gone. Uh, crouch? What does crouching do? Does crouching prevent me from being knocked back? You know, I didn't even consider that, because that happens in Dracula X, too. Alright, new plan. Do that. I'll die before I get there, though. Don't worry. Yep. Yep. Preemptive axe. If I take any moment to do anything on those platforms, I'll probably fall. If I miss the X, then I'm dead. Oh, well. Just gotta keep... Just gotta keep trying. Just gotta keep trying. And eventually something will go all Simon's way. So, you think Simon's a quitter? I ain't no quitter. I ain't no quitter either. Be here. Oh god, that's great. Old games have this habit of having a really, really unfair design sometimes. Like that. The fuck do you want me to do about that? How do you get up there? I did it once. Exactly once. But every time I land on the damn thing, I can't press a button before the entire platform crumbles below me. Time to become best again. Okay, watch. Here we go. Yeah. Got him. And a one. And a two! Love the music for this stage, though. But the stage is, uh... Well... The stage is making me feel something different. Oh my god, I killed him. Ah, 
Nine two, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'd much rather not deal with whatever the fuck that is. Hmm? Stopwatch and a cross. I'll keep my axe. I'm gonna see if I can uh, cheese myself a three. Oh, that's a bad start. Nice. Good noise. There we go. All right. Sink of the money, huh? So, if I had to guess, that kills me, right? If I if I sink too far. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I understand now. I didn't realize I could do that either. Huh? No, I'm good. What's this? I don't think I can make that jump anymore. It only did one damage. What the hell is on me? Did you stop? It's a fucking ghost hole. Fight bottom boy! Oh, I'm going back down there now, is there? Uh-huh. Cunt. I'm just making so much money. it because I just didn't do the right thing I'm not even sure what I did but it didn't work it didn't work and I died for it I just missed the staircase entirely
Do I get a one man for like 20,000? The answer is no. It's all a distraction. Designed to make me waste time. It's working. Hardest part about this part of the stage is remembering how staircases work. Is this the last stage? I highly doubt it. Come on, skeleton boy. I'm going the right way this time. Oh my god. What is it? It's the giant bat. If I still had the axe... As long as I can out-damage what it does to me... I'll be okay. Oh! Oh, that was close. That was close. <sighs> stage A? What do you mean, Stage A? What do you mean, Stage A? What does it mean? Stage A. Chat, how many more stages are there? Is this the stage Christian couldn't beat? Is this the last stage? Or is there one more after it? Here it is. Wait, how, where do I go? There's... Uh, there's the last... There's three stages left, huh? Okay. 
Well then, how about this? If I game over... If I game over, I'm gonna stop, get the password, and we'll resume this another time. Because... Not only am I getting frustrated... <laughs> as you could expect... It's been two and a half hours. If I sat here and tried to beat the rest of these in one go, I would be here for like... Forever. He did it fast and crushed it. He did this in two settings and get here. Yeah! That's because I'm a gamer. Oh. I'm sure where to go. That is some- that's some fucking shit right there. Oh, good. Goody, goody, good, good. Yeah, this stage is some next-level asshole, isn't it? We were having fun, chat. We were having fun talking about things, enjoying Castlevania. And now... What else can I say? <laughs> Except make dumbass noises. Because nothing is going right. this Oh, no! I really did it. Any of these worth it at all because the screen's not coming back. The screen's not coming back. Draw your sword. Your sword cannot beat a whip. I like in the the, uh, the show how, for whatever reason, uh, Trevor's the, the the vampire killer. It doesn't just hit the demon. It like causes their entire body to like it fucking explode if it touches them. How do you do what? How do you dodge? Well, that one's not so bad. 
crouch the top of the staircase, most likely. Didn't see that coming. Now we wait. Thank you, Mr. Medusa Head. Boner! What? What? How in the goddamn do you do that? That doesn't even make a lick of sense. I don't even know what just happened there! <laughs> he didn't even make a noise, he just barreled over. chat. This is the cheer now password. Yes. This is the password. I'm keeping this on screen. So I can memorize it. And by that I mean so I can find it easier in a video. <laughs> Just save the screenshot. This is the password that's gonna take me back. Gonna take me back to where I need to be and play that hell level, whatever that was. That level is. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but I'll do it. <clears throat> I'll be back. What button? What button? Chat, this game's hard. This game really hard. And that was some bullshit at the end with the bone dragon. I, I, what was I supposed to do? I, I just had to I just had to stay hooked on that thing and hope he didn't hit me. What did you want me to do? What the fuck? Well, whatever. I'll come back to it with a, a better state of mind and I'll be able to nail that son of a bitch. Because I'm not doing it right now, that's for sure. Next week. Next week I'll do it. Don't you worry.